sedi vabi gospoda Hansa Gerta Peteringa. Zvolite, beseda je vaša. Spostovane goste in gospodje, dragi prijatelji. Celo me veseli, da sem danes s vami na Birdu, in da vam lahko povem nekaj besed na kongresu SDSA. In now, for your advantage and for my advantage, I will continue in English. Dear Mr. Chairman, dear friend Janis Janša, dear Prime Minister, my dear colleagues from the European Parliament, Romana Jordan Sisse and Milan Zwer, Mr. Vice President, and it's really a pleasure to see you here today, Franz Zucchiati, as former President of Slovenian Parliament. We worked together when I was President of the European Parliament. And you are now Vice President of Parliament. I'm only a poor member of the European Parliament. But it's a pleasure, of course, to be Chairman of the Konrad Adenauer Foundation. So, dear candidates, ladies and gentlemen, and what is the most important, dear friends. For me, it's a great pleasure to be here today. And since I have the advantage, and allow me to say this, to be member of the European Parliament, which for the first time was elected, as you all know, in 1979, and I have the privilege to be member of the European Parliament, the only one, continuously since 79. And we very often don't understand history, or we forget history. But let us never forget one thing. If one would have told me in 1979, you will be in November 2011 on a party congress, with Janis Janša, who is since many years a friend, and you speak in an election campaign in a free and democratic Slovenia. If somebody would have predicted this in 1979, my answer would have been, this is a vision, this is a dream, this is a hope. But, dear friends, this vision, this dream, this hope has become a reality, and let us be happy with the power. time of problems, but with our optimism, with our hope, we will succeed and I am deeply convinced. But let us never forget that the European Union is not just a, a ge geographic uh, union or a geographic organization. No, it's a community which is based on values which is unique in the world, the dignity of the human being human rights, democracy, freedom, peace, and legal order, let never totalitarian systems like communism and national socialism have a chance on our continent. We are in favor of liberty, of freedom, of peace. But now, and I want to say this, it was one of my really best experiences as President of the European Parliament, and it was long before I got to know the friends of SDS and your leader, your chairman, Janis Janša. He was the first ever President of the European Council coming from the member states who joined the European Union in 2004. Ever, the first ever President of the European Council from the former communist countries. And he did an excellent job. And for me as President of the European Parliament, it was not only institutional-wise a good cooperation. It was an excellent cooperation 
because we share, we share the same ideas and that's why I am deeply convinced Janus Janša for the benefit of this country, for the benefit of Slovenia, has to become again Prime Minister of Slovenia. But now, dear friends, we certainly have great challenges. And the Euro crisis around Greece shows that. We will have to adopt the right blend of solidarity among the member states and firmness in cutting expenditure and returning to growth. Only in this way we will be able to avoid the trap of ever increasing debt and only in this way we will guarantee that the euro remains an asset of financial and economic stability and growth. And that is important not only on the European, for the European Union as such but it's important for the national level. And in June this year, an article in the respected German business newspaper Handelsblatt had been published with an alarming headline. And I would like to quote it. Euro crisis. Slovenia becomes a new problem child of the European Union. And then it goes on a long time Slovenia was considered as model country, but now it's developing as a new problem case in the Eurozone. Government has to save strongly to avoid Greek problems. End of the quote. And I'm deeply convinced only a government led by SDS and by a Prime Minister Janis Lancia will give up the certainty that the Euro is a stable currency here in Slovenia and that the euro will remain a stable currency in all countries of the European Union which have already the euro. So we need this party, we need Janis Janša as Prime Minister to have a stable euro here in Slovenia, dear friends. come to the ideas of Konrad Adenauer, the first Chancellor of Germany after the Second World War, and I have the honor to chair the foundation which is named after him. And what we share, you and we, is a Christian image of human being, a clear commitment to a strong European Union, a constant emphasis of the principle of solidarity and subsidiarity and, translate, and translating the social market economy in the 21st century. I strongly believe that Slovenia needs in these difficult times a strong and experienced leadership which represents all these Christian democratic values. In my deepest conviction I can say that there is nobody better qualified for the tremendous job than your SDS Chairman Janis Janša, who is, and I am proud of that, a good friend as well. I wish him all the best on his way to become again Prime Minister of Slovenia. And if you believe in the results of the actual polls, it seems to be very clear that the government, the present government, will be defeated. But, dear friend, it's not so important to win polls, it's necessary to win elections and so we still have a hard work to do. <laughs> Dear members of SDS, I know there is only one month to persuade the Slovenian people, but at the end I am sure you will be successful if you work hard in the coming four weeks and the work after that is even harder for the new government. In any case, I wish you, each of you, all the best, positive thinking, an optimistic outlook for the future, a strong Slovenia in a strong European Union and a strong government led by Prime Minister Janis Janša. Thank you.
noč, spoštovani gospod predsednik, dragi prijatelj Janez, spoštovani predsednik vlade Republika Makedonije, draga kolega Romana Jordan Cizel, Milan Zver, spoštovani podpredsednik, gospod Franz Sopjati, podpredsednik državnega zbora, kolegice in kolegi, dragi kandidati za državno zborske volitve, gospe in gospodje. V veliko čast mi je in veselje, da sem se lahko udeležil konvencije Slovenske demokratske stranke. V Evropskem parlamentu sem že od leta 1979. edini član Evropskega parlamenta, ki je v njem od samega začetka. To veliko pomeni. In če bi mi leta 1979 kdo rekel, da bom novembra 2011 na konvenciji Slovenske demokratske stranke pod vodstvom Janeza Janše v Sloveniji bi dejal, da je to vizija, da so to sanje in da je to upanje. In vse to se je uresničilo. Pred nami v Evropski uniji je veliko problemov, vendar pa se moramo teh problemov vlotovati z optimizmom, samo tako bomo lahko uspeli. Evropska unija ni samo geografska unija. Evropska unija ni samo organizacija. To je tudi skupnost, ki temelji na skupnih deljenih vrednotah, kot so človekove pravice, dostojanstvo, pravičnost za vse in pa pravna država. To je skupnost držav, ki mora preprečiti, da bi se totalitarni režimi, kot smo jih poznali v prejšnjih sistemih, komunizem in pa nacionalsocializem, lahko kadarkoli v prihodnosti ponovili. Slovenija si zagotovo zasluži najbolj izkušeno vodstvo. In to vodstvo ima v slovenski demokratski stranki. Moj prijatelj Janis Janša je bil prvi predsednik, kakršne koli bivše komunistične države, ki je vodila evropski svet v Evropski uniji. To nalogo je opravil odlično. Z njim sem odlično sodeloval na uradni, kot tudi na osebni ravni. Eden od razlogov za to je tudi to, da deliva skozi svoji stranki iste ideje in iste urednote. Zato sem prepričan, da mora naslednji predsednik vlade postati Janez Janša za korist Slovenije. Pred nami so mnogi izzivi. Pred nami oziroma soočamo se s krizo skupne valute, evra, ukvarjamo se z Grčijo in enimi težavami. Vse to lahko premagamo na osnovi solidarnosti, na osnovi izkušenega vodstva, samo na ta način lahko ponovno dosežemo rast in pa premagamo pretirano zadolženost Evropske unije, ter omogočimo stabilnost evro območja in pa rast. Junija leta 2011 je v nemškem gospodarskem časopisu oziroma v reviji Handelsblatt bilo zapisano, da je Slovenija, če tudi je bila vse čas vzor uspešne članice Evropske unije in pa uspešne članice evro območja, da postaja evro problem tudi v tej državi in da bi se lahko Slovenija pridružila tistim državam evro območja, ki doživljajo veliko krizo. Te težave in to krizo lahko premaga samo močna vlada, ki jo bo vodila Slovenska demokratska stranka. Zato potrebuje Slovenija Jane Zajanša. No in na koncu naj omenim še Konrada Adenaurja in njegove vrednote, Konrad Adenauer je bil prvi kancler Nemčije po drugi svetovni vojni in jaz imam čast, da sem tudi predsednik ustanove Konrada Adenaurja. Verjev je v urednote, kot so hrščanska podoba Evropske unije, človekove pravice, močna Evropska unija, solidarnost, subsidijarnost, tržna ekonomija. Predvsem v 21. stoletju moramo dati tržni, ekonomiji novo podobo v obliki socialne tržne ekonomije. Slovenija potrebuje močnega, izkušenega vodjo. Slovenija potrebuje vodjo, ki bo svoje delovanje utemeljil na urednotah. In vse to najde v slovenski demokratski stranki in pa njenemu vodji. Želim pa, da bi uspeli v nadaljnih tednih prepričati volivce, da ste vi tisti, ki boste lahko zagotovili uspeh. 
Zato boste morali trdo delati, tega se zavedate. Želim vam veliko optimizma, veliko moči, zato da bo Slovenija lahko močna v Evropski uniji in da bo tudi nasploh Evropska unija lahko močna in zopet dosegla rast. Hvala lepa.